Mariah baby. Mariah baby. It's the addiction show, baby. Hold on, let me just get myself together. Let me get my thoughts together real quick, all right? While you tip it low to nine nine, baby. All of me, baby. Chinky, what you know about this, baby? Sister Patterson, what you know about this, baby? Um, all of me. Yes, baby. And all of me. To be all of you. All right, you know we all got problems and issues. For the next thirty minutes, I want you to forget about all your issues, baby. Just relax under that AC, cause it's hot as a motherfucker outside, honey. Just relax, smoke you a blunt, have you a drink, eat your food, do what you do while you watching the messiest show on YouTube, baby. The Bimbo Wine House Addiction Show. Ooh 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 ooh. No, let me just get myself together, baby. Ooh, ooh. All of you. Never do. It's gay pride in New York City, baby. Ew, go chingy. Go chingy. Dip it low, dip it low, dip it low. Ew. Go, Sister P. All right. All right, let me get my thoughts together. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Cut, 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 cut. I'm ready. Hey, you was Bimbo One House. One more guy, am Sister Addison and Chinky. Chinky's not here for the rest of the show, honey. He's just here for this week, honey. Okay, he's not gonna be a part of my show. All, all right. After this week, after Gay Pride is over in New York City, uh, Chinky, you go back wherever you you know where you were signing from. I just brung you out because it's Gay Pride. You know how these gays don't like me in New York City. They don't like me, okay? Because I'm every day that they. Be in the house, okay, but I, I bring it outside and in front of everybody. I don't give a damn, but um, hey, hey, you all. Um, oh my god, oh my god, let me just tell you something. I love this show, I love doing this, I love this, okay. We all have problems, we all have issues, we all, we all, Oprah even have issues, okay. Apparently, her network is felon. We'll talk about that later in, her, in the show. Um, oh. Let me just say something. This is going to be the first time I'm going to be fat, and I'm not loving it. I'm not loving being fat. The only good thing I can say about that is when I put a wig on and I put, you know, my freak breasts in, you know, I still get mine, so my, my sex life ain't interrupted, but oh my God. I've never been fat. Like, my whole life, I mean, I wasn't, you know, skinny, skinny, but you know, I had a little meat on my bones, but... I'm I've been I'm heavy as I ever been like from January this whole 2012 I just been you all see it look at videos from me from 2009 to I was skinny I was skinny I just got fat oh I cannot take it honey oh but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry I'm not gonna be I'm, I'm gonna do something about it anyway shout out to all the fat people this is not your time of the year <laughs> okay because the show is not my oh my god it's hotter than the mother whatever but I love this type of weather I'll take this over the winter any day honey okay you go outside half neck okay you gotta pay for no hotel you can suck your dick outside honey somebody alley <laughs> fuck a hotel all right so the case is closed is the case closed on this uh, Jocelyn Hernandez uh, you know we were talking about her yesterday uh, in the last show um, that uh, VH1's uh, whatever, whatever show she's from um, uh, Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, Jocelyn Hendez, um, she tweeted, <laughs> I guess she was just sick of everybody told you a man, girl, th this bitch tweeted a picture of her coochie, she showed that kitty cat, she, that is my type of bitch, word up, Jocelyn, you got mad, bitch, alright, I, I would have done the same thing, but, you did it so quick, okay? You did it so quick, like, you're gonna be talking about today, tomorrow, and then Friday, and then Saturday. Next week, you're gonna be forgot about it. Like, what I would've done was, I would've had this whole week people talking about it. Oh my God, it's Bimbo, man, it's Bimbo, you know, uh, it's D1 House, man, da da da. I would've just been like, tweeting, blogging, you know, hey, you talking about me, bitch. And then next week, I would've then tweeted, so you know you can continue it all, because when people forget about you, they forget about you, okay? So, uh, case is closed. I mean, you all is going to say what you want to say. She's a, a post-op tranny, you know, that look like a tranny job. My opinion, 
It looks real. I seen old pictures from her. I seen her video. It looks real. And it, it, hey, some females just have manly features. You know what I mean? Like when she post this picture I posted yesterday. This is not her best picture. It looks like she just works out. Um, and you know her body's nice and toned up, and she has a lot of makeup on. And the short hair, it really doesn't work for her. It, it honestly makes her look like a, a man. But then you take this picture here. This is from her from 2003, where she was arrested for Lord and uh, prostitution, honey. Okay, uh, yeah, this is one of her mug shots. So this girl been through it. And I notice a lot of these females that do appear on these uh, reality shows like Love and Hip Hop and they've been prostitutes they've been in jail system they they grew up in group homes uh because a lot of you all look at these females that i pick you know i don't watch these shows so i don't know how these females act from what you all tell me they are a hot mess and a lot of these chicks didn't grow up with no uh role, role model as a mother no father no mother image so they just became who they became and uh i don't know her background but um she was a prostitute she's a stripper and you know uh they're saying that she needs a good pr team um you know she, she i guess she was really hurt by people saying that she looked like a man and this that and a third that she just said fuck it i'm gonna post the picture of my pussy okay does this th but the sad part about it is people still saying that you're a man bitch okay trannies i know have some coochies you know uh it can't get wet because most trannies have to lube it up you know you know they ain't not my thing is if you are a tranny uh uh live up to it you know what i mean like if i was to become a trainer well you know if you didn't know me i will let you know i am a tranny if a man's gonna like you he's gonna like you no matter what okay so uh i think you need to tell him that you are a train uh, you know whatever so the case is closed uh shout out to jocelyn uh hernandez i mean you all can still comment but as far as me talking about it she she basically just she just uh the case is closed um I also got an email, uh, speaking of Jocelyn, on, uh, this is from T, um, he said, or uh, she said, hey, bimbo, it's T again, and uh, waka waka ale, I know you really don't watch reality shows, but uh, you need to check out Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, this dude named uh, Stevie J, uh, the way he disrespects his, girl, uh, disrespects his girlfriends and his child mother, I hate the ghetto phrase uh, baby mother, it's so disrespectful, you would be pissed, I hate it. Loving hip hop after Ghetto Chrissy, but because it was a new place, I gave it a chance, and oh my God, I'm hooked. She make fab, uh, she makes fab child mother, uh, looks like saints. You guys know I, I don't, I'm sorry, you all. I should be doing these reality shows because I'm a blogger, but until I get a check, until I get paid to watch these shows, I'm not watching. That's not part of my TV radar. Like I'm sorry, I just can't do none of these. It's just like a front. Everybody's just trying to pop off when, the, you know, the cameras come on. Like, I just, it's just too much. And it, it, it's too much. I, I need something different on TV. So, um, anyway, speaking of Stevie J, uh, he was the dude that used to date Eve back in the days. And remember when Eve sex tape was released? Everyone's saying that it was him who uh, put out the sex tape. Furthermore, it was him in the sex tape. And then, also, Stevie J tweeted or a pictures a picture of his little his, his thing it's a nice little you know it's a nice little piece i'm sorry you all stevie j is hot you know and that's the problem with we with some of us you know gays and uh and, um, real women we get caught up with the penis we get caught up with the sex that we forget how disrespectful this dude is we forget how uh how this dude is just oh but we just oh his sex is so good so you know uh Stevie J, it is what it is. I follow Stevie J on Twitter. Hey, dude's gonna do what he's gonna do. And the man, you know, man is gonna be a man. So, um, again, I don't watch these reality shows, but if you all check it out, you know, fill me in. You can email me. I would love to know what's going on. But uh, I'm, I'm not. See, thank you for the email, but I'm not gonna check it out. Um, so like I said, case is closed. If you all still want to talk about the Jocelyn Hernandez situation, do you think she's a man? Uh, the picture is on uh, shutupbimbo.com. I also have the picture of uh, Stevie J, little. Uh, nice little piece he just look old like he got a nice body but his face you can tell he's been through some stuff because his face looks old um so you know what it is what it is all right so moving on to where's the story at um so i guess we're still talking about drake and chris brown uh, hey you also want to talk about it so i guess i was still uh it looks as if birdman wants to wants drake and chris brown to kiss and make up 
Yeah, uh, uh, Birdman, you will want Chris and, and Drake to kiss because you know you like the kiss, man. You on Weezy. Remember this picture? Mm hmm. Well, anyway, Birdman said uh, uh, they need to put the drama behind them. It's pretty much died down. Uh, uh, Birdman and Weezy want Drake to publicly, uh, publicly apologize. From TMZ, sources close to Drake tell TMZ Drizzy has received several calls from Weezy, Birdman, Mac Man, and more, urging the rapper to extend an olive branch to Brown after weeks, you know, the whole brawl last week in NYC. Sources tell us Wayne and company are worried the rift will affect business since Brown appears on several tracks with Young Money members. Yes, Brown, yes, Chris Brown, you make some hits, baby. I, 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 Chris Brown, if you put Chris Brown on the track, it's already a hit, man. I love that, Nikki. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, we're told Drake doesn't want to reach out to Breezy until he knows Chris Brown doesn't actually blame him for last week's melee, despite what Brown's lawyers has been saying. Uh, Drake was the aggressive. Uh, we're, uh, we're told Young Money uh, on, is on Drake's side no matter what, but as one sort put it, making money is what matters. Yes, you mean, boy. Okay, you need to put this child ignorance behind. Like, I just don't understand. You guys get all this money, you don't know how to act. Like they say, you can take the meatball out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the meatball. Anyway, oh, speaking of Drake, so Little Kim is still talking. Yes, Little Kim, you just always, you know, you always got something to say. Uh, Kim, um, <laughs> I love Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, she had to uh, say something about Drake. I'm trying to find a story. She called Drake a bottom. Hold on, let me find a story, you guys. Where the hell is Oh, God. I cannot with this slow-ass computer. Oh, my God, where is the story at? Give me a second, you guys. All right, it said, this is some Sandra Rose. Little Kim, this is Drake, says he is a bottom. I love this baby. Little Kim, you always running your mouth. Anyway, um, that's a cancer. Anyway, everyone suspects that uh, uh, Drake, is, you know, is, you know, is hoo hoo hoo. Um, but rap icon Little Kim really went there when she accused Drake of uh, being a bottom. That is a term for the guys that take that dick and don't give a fuck. All right, Little Kim made a statement and released. In response to the bro at Bob and Drake and Trouble singer Chris Brown, she said, I mean, people are so hard on Chris Brown. You know, he made a mistake. He owned up to it. He and Rihanna have moved on with their lives. But since that incident, it's easy to blame Chris. What I know about Drake is he is a bitch made nigga, meaning he is an instigator and a pussy. He had no issue stepping to me. I'm five feet tall, but he didn't try stepping up to Chris, a man, because he's simply a coward. At the end of the day, you gotta be a tough guy to be a rapper, but don't dress up and gaze the drag when you a bitch. Drake's a bottom, if y'all know what I mean when I say that. Here we come. I'm, I'm, hey, you said enough, baby. But I was reading some of the comments on SandraRose.com, and I'm just gonna go through a full. Uh, some said I love Little Kim. Some said her fucking face, man. Some said, uh, wait, um, wait. Kim looks like a plastic zombie in that picture. Some said uh, that statement was funny, but her face. Some said, uh, wait, uh, what else? Uh, this silly bitch here, anything to become relevant. Can't a uh, Catwoman rebirth looking ass? Go sit down and grab your cock, bitch. <laughs> Some said, Little Kim just bitter out here. Girl, get your life before you talk about anyone else. Dumb to say drag when you when you look like a drag yourself with all that damn surgery. Um See, you all say I no, we no, we're not gonna do this. I, we're not gonna do no nope, no, nope, I'm not gonna go. No. See, if you all don't believe me, go to SandraRose.com. You all think I'd be bashing Kim about her looks. Like I said, I don't have a problem with the girl looks. Okay? My problem is, and I told you this already, that she just needs to end this beef with Nikki. And someone else said, uh, but you don't get on Nikki. Da -da. Because Nikki does not over exaggerate. She doesn't over -ex Kim over exaggerate the whole situation. She over exaggerate everything, and I get it because she's a cancer. I'm a cancer. That's my problem, bitch. Stop over exaggerating. Like, just calm down, bitch. Say what you saying. Just keep it moving. Anyway, go ahead, Lil Kim fans. Diss me. Do what you do. Whatever. Anyway, moving on. Halle Berry. Halle Berry has to pay up. Yes, Halle Berry is ordered to pay child support. 
Okay, I didn't know women had to... Uh, Alright, anyway. Until now, there has been no child support order in place between Halle Berry and Gabrielle Arby for their four-year daughter, Naya. But that's all over because Gabrielle just cashed out. A, a judge just awarded uh, Aubrey uh, $20,000 a month in child support. Halle has been fighting tooth and nail to strip Gabby of custody of Nala so she can move to France with her new boyfriend. So you know she is hot about having to kick out 20 stacks a month to this guy. Oh my god. This is why I need to turn straight for a day, baby. That could have been my ass. I could have just fronted like I was straight got up in that coochie. Well, I would have had to front for nine months until the baby was born. Oh my god, that's a good idea. Like, I'm trying to think of a way to get rich. That's a good scheme right here. I would have to find a rich woman and act like I portray that I'm straight for a couple of months. Get her pregnant, because I'm broke. I ain't got shit. You have to pay me, bitch. Um, oh, that's a good scheme. P uh, uh, speaking of women and, and broke men, apparently Jennifer Lopez's husband, what is this story? A Jennifer Lopez's husband, Give me a second, you guys. I gotta find the story. Oh, where is the story at? I am so out of place. Where is the story at? Alright, hold on. Let me just find it. Have you a drink? Okay, go to the side. I'm looking for the story. Calm down. You know the show was a hot mess. I was crying before I re uh, recorded because, you know, I'm so fat. I just took me a shout. I just, you know, you just, when you fat, skinny people, you don't know what fat people go through. It, 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 oh God, whatever. When I put that wig on my lashes, dudes run up in anything. That's the thing. Straight dudes, uh, you know, I'm trying to stall and find a story. All right, here we go. Yeah, speaking, like I was saying, of dudes who who, who date women who got money, well, it looks as if Jennifer uh, Lopez boo Casper was dating a black girl. He took all her money before he got with J-Lo. So they trying to say, J-Lo, you need to be a little suspect of this dude. But let me tell you something about some of you females out there. You don't care. Some of you all just need a man at all times. You don't care how broke this man is. You know he using you. As long as you have a comfort of a man late at night, that is all that matters. I know too many females like this who are afraid to be single. They need a man. They need to just let people know they got a man. And they just let this... Oh, God. Why is the story... All right, here it goes. It says... Uh, this is from MediaTechGuy.com. Jennifer Lopez better watch her pocketbook. Because according to this month's issue of Touch Magazine, Casper has a history of taking bitches money and running. They say Casper dated a black girl named Asia for two motherfucking years before leaving her for J-Lo. Here are the exact words. Aisha let Casper move into her San Fernando home. But Aisha had no idea what was going on right under her motherfucking nose. She probably knew, but like I said, there's a lot of females who feel like they need a man. They need the comfort of a man late at night. You know, they need some change. You get what I'm saying, right? Anyway, they even know the man is gay. Got another chick, but they just need late night. They had a hard day at work. They need to go home to a comfort of a man. I blame you, Stephanie Mills. Anyway. Uh, they said Aisha let Casper move her, uh, move into her Sandra uh, Fernanda home, but Aisha had no idea what was going on right under her motherfucking nose until she turned on the TV last November and watched in shock as Casper had moved into J Lo house. Aisha was really good to Casper, notes Josh, but he used her to get whatever he wanted and left her for J Lo. This is exactly what Britney X did. Some of you men. Some of you men better work, okay? Because if I could do it, I'd do it too, baby. These women are so dumb. Yeah, some of you women out there are dumb. So needy for a man. You just let these men run over you, honey. But I don't think he's going to let J-Lo go. Because J-Lo's like the top of the top. Who can you leave for her? You know what I mean? Anyway, what do you all think? I don't know. I'm just gagging over little Kim Cole and Drake a bottle. I love it. Kim, if this rap thing don't work out for you, you really should think about doing TV. Because I always thought that she had a funny bone to her. Her and Remy Ma. Like, if rap is over for you too, you should sure, like some type of TV. Kim is hilarious. I would love to see her messy ass on TV just acting a fool. Agreed, right? Little Kim, you know. So, hey, if the music. Also, I want to shout out to Vivica Fox. Vivica, what you up to now, girl? Um, you know, she follows, uh, she, I think she followed me on Twitter, I don't know. Anyway, Vivica, I haven't seen her, but here's a recent picture of her, and this look is over, mama. This look is for you, mama. Vivica was spotted 
at uh, the red carpet last night for Byron Allen's Entertainment Studios Daytime Emmy launch event in uh, Beverly Hills. And I just have to say, Vivica, you you looking motherfucking over. I love me some Vivica. I was watching Set It Off last night, and and Vivica always tried to act tough until motherfucking teacher said, "Bitch." Okay, I'm tired of your shit. Okay, I'm tired of you. Okay, I've been nothing but nice to you. If I don't want your money, but if you want to kick my ass, bitch, well, bring it, bitch. And then, then Vivica got all pumped out. See, that's how you gotta handle your bullies. You gotta stop acting, letting these bullies. You gotta give them one time to show you ain't no punk bitch. Vivica was like, damn, I'm tripping. You my girl, has to the money. That's right, bitch. <laughs> but I still don't think that motherfucking TT should got enough. Bitch, you ran the fuck out, bitch. We all could have died up in that motherfucker. Your ass is free, bitch. You ain't do shit. Fuck you and your baby, bitch. I would have did that shit, bitch. You ain't do nothing. I don't blame her. And then Queen Latifah ass, you still ain't do shit. Yo, I love it. Set it off. I think it's my. I watch that movie at least twice a month. I love I never get tired of it. I know every motherfucking scene. One of my favorite scenes was when uh Queen Latifah had the gun. And she, and she was like, bitch, I know you're going to leave us. We need you more than now, okay? Uh, and and J Jada was like, you you high, you smoking crack, okay? You need to take that motherfucking gun out my face. And then Queen Latifah went, Jada went, back. Queen was like, oh, you going to hit me, bitch? We go back 20 years, bitch. You been my peeps since day one, bitch. And, and well, fuck you too. Uh, I love y'all. I love that movie. I love motherfucking set it off in the first robbery with uh oh my god, we could talk about that movie all motherfucking day long. But I just think it ending stupid. Like Queen Lativa, you would have got at least a good ten years in jail. Okay, you would have loved jail. Why would you kill yourself for a bitch? Jada got free. She would have had the money all laid out, ready for your ass. And then Vivica, her dumb ass, she runs. What the, do you do when you have a gun to your head? Bitch, where are you going? This Armenian cops can't wait to shoot you as your dumb ass turn around. Where are you going, bitch? I didn't get it. I don't know. I just love, I love Set It Off. Anyway, what are we talking about? Oh, I don't know. Um, I love Set It Off. What, what is your favorite movie all the time? Do you have a favorite movie? Let me know. Oh, I love Set It Off. I love Set It Off. Anyway, Oprah... Yeah, that's how you know we in the last days, baby. I say this all the time. Oprah, her network is failing, honey. Oprah, you need to snag something that's going to give you great ends. I'm not saying nothing, girl. You know, you just a little addiction show. But Oprah has tweeted that she snagged Rihanna for the next chapter interview. When... <laughs> Oprah is pulling out all the stops to save her seeking network and interviewing every controversial figure that she can think of. Oprah just interviewed 50 Cent as well as the whole Kardashian family. Now she is interviewing Rihanna. Um, really, Oprah? Anyway, they're saying, uh, this is somebody comment. She said, you're sinking and you're sinking fast. You reduce yourself to conducting interviews with the bottom feeders of the world. You should have stayed your ass where you belong though. ABC7 in Chicago. Look at you now, bitch. I mean, she, she always still got money. It's not like the bitch, like, this is the last resort. You sh I think she should have retired. I would have just retired. I would have done a TV show once a week. I had all the money, I because I still love the craft. I would have just done it once a week. But I would have just been laid out, paying motherfuckers to eat my coochie all day. I would just, if I, if I was you, bitch, I'd be so wearing Bermuda, bitch. Laid out, just having different dudes come eat this pussy. Eat it. Or oh, women. Or oh, you know how Oprah is. Whatever you like, bitch. Eat it, baby. I come. I just bring me some food, bitch. Yo, if I was rich, yo, oh my god, the things I would do, oh my god, anyway, um, <laughs> the show was a mess, how did we go to talking about people eating Oprah coochie, <laughs> this is why I love this show, you never know where this show is gonna lead, <laughs> alright you all, listen, we're about to go into the intro, um, and I'm changing the intro uh, soon, so, you all talking about, uh, intro, blah, 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 whatever, um, uh, we're gonna go to the intro when I come back. I got some emails and as well as uh, What else we're gonna talk about just some other things you're checking out the bimbo one house addiction show on this hot Summer day. I feel fat and blowing. I feel so ugly But it's nothing baby because as long as you live and it's all right Just know if Jennifer Hudson fat ass can lose the weight you can too bitch Okay, we all can get skinny cuz fat is not sexy. I'm sorry in the summer. It's really not sexy you all Oh, I feel like a fat old pig all around here, Phil. I used to be so sexy and skinny. I just got ugly, baby. I don't know, man. Look, a chick really fuck you in life, man. And you just start drinking, you start eating.
That is what it is. One day, one day I will see sexiness again. Should I share that with you guys? I don't know. This is like this is a real show. I'm not, you know, sitting up here frightened. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm very confident. Like, when you see me, you say, "Oh, he is too conceited." But, I, like, hey, you know. But hey, that is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go do some jumping jacks and some push-ups <laughs> while you all check out the intro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're checking out the Bimbo Wine House Addiction Show. We'll be right back, baby. All right. I don't give a fuck, I'ma take that dick and take it in my butt I got a juicy ass and a big ass cock Yeah, I know this queen, I just won't stop I'm not covering, but I get super head I'ma choke on that dick until I'm dead I'm a nasty hoe, I'm a nasty bitch Come on, sister P, it's that addiction shit, you know? Yes, baby, turn it off, baby Turn it off, baby Turn it off, baby Turn it off, baby What? Cause it's too hot too hot, it's too hot today. I'm gonna suck today. I'm gonna suck in the alley, cause it's too hot. Woo! Yes, baby, turn it up, baby. Oh, my god, baby. Alright, turn this off. Turn this off. Shout out to Cool in the Game, baby, okay? Oh my god, that is the perfect anthem, honey. No, I'm not complaining, baby, because you know I can wait till the motherfucking summer come, baby. But, um, you know, I, you know, hey, hey, I'm enjoying it, baby, but it's too damn hot, honey, okay? You came too soon, bitch. I expect to see you in August, but you came to June, bitch. Oh, and I want to shout out to everybody going on the yak tomorrow. Rich Star, Dream Town, I'll be on that yak tomorrow for Gay Pride. I don't know if it's a boat yak, whatever it is, but I'll be there, baby. I got my tickets, um... And don't forget uh, my birthday party, July 15th. But anyway, I want to get into some of the comments supporters from the last video. And this is from uh, uh, Father Princess. Father Princess. <laughs> Father Princess. <laughs> Father Princess. <laughs> Father Princess. <laughs> Anyway, uh, he or she said, Bimbo, in terms of slavery in this country, yes, supervisor is absolutely right. Slavery runs deep. Blacks endured a great uh, deal of de de uh, excuse me. Blacks endured a great deal of decoration and uh, dehumanization that we uh, may not be aware of because it's not taught in Amer uh, American school systems. Kudos to your show. Kudos to your show. Well, thank you, baby. Yes, I'm trying to read up on that now. You know, because you know I hate white people. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Shout out my whites. You know I. You know I just be joking. Um. Also, um. Shout out to everybody who signed up for the Tyler Perry thing. Good luck to you all. I'm not making no video. I mean, it is what it is. Like, no. Okay. If he see my show, he see my video. But um, that's what it is. Um, and that's really it. Remember, if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. Um, somebody was laughing at the fact that I said, yes, 18 years of acting straight, honey. That's a, that's some hard act. That's real acting, baby. 18 years it took me to act straight. Oh, my. I mean, don't get me wrong. People know what I was. But, you know, I, I you know, they didn't tell me, so I didn't think they knew. But trust me. Um, somebody said, Bimbo Girl, you better get your ass to that slave job before I take it. Shit, making sixteen dollars an hour, cash and vouchers at a casino, bitch. You better fix your face in your job, girl. And stop complaining, <laughs> bitch. Every day in that glitters ain't glowed, and every job have their issues. So I'm not even taking it back. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But whatever. I'm still there. Four years, and I'm still at the shout out to slave job. Ugh. All right, let me get to some of these emails, and I gotta go lay down butt naked. I'm gonna have some ice over me. Then later, I'm gonna go get some hair, baby. This is too nice to be in the house, baby. This is perfect weather to get some hair outside, honey. I'm gonna be a freak tonight. Shout out to you, little download man. Meet me in the city tonight. Wink, wink. I have my wig on, my fake tips. <laughs> All right, um, let's get to some of these emails, you guys, and then I gotta go. Um, this is from. What is that? Oh, this is from. Uh, Give me a second, you guys. Oh, this is from Nick. He said, what's up? My name is Nicholas, and I host a TV show in Washington, D.C., Guys at Brunch, in the studios in D.C., and I would like to have you on 
uh, as a co-host with us. We are both uh, gay hosts. Check out check out our link and let us know what you think. Your transportation will be covered. Oh, and your mail at oh. Please let us. Uh, please uh, here's link. Please let me know if you open to this. Oh. Well, Sister Patterson, would you like to go see these guys at brunch? They're gonna cover our uh, travel expenses. Uh, if we stay overnight, can you pay for the hotel too? No, sir. I'll give you. Uh, you guys need to. Uh, I'll email you back, but uh, send me the phone number. Yes, I'm serious about paying for a hotel too. Um, yeah, let's do it next week. Oh, let's do it. All right. So check me out on guys at brunch in a couple in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'll do it. Um. Wow. And, uh, shout out to people who want me to be this mess to be on their show. Thank you. That's appreciated. All right. Um. Well, I got two emails real quick. Where is that email at? Because I was dying when I read it. I just, I gave a look like, really, little boy. Alright, here it goes. Uh, hey, Bimbo, my name is Jeremy Bartell. In quotation, see, guy, you can say my name. And I am 15 years old. The pro I am 15 years old. Let me just, let me just say that again. I am 15 years old. The problem here is that I've been having sex with this sexy Latino white dude. He's 15 as well. He is on a down low. I'm more out than him, but I'm still kind of on a low too. He is starting to develop feelings for me, but I don't know, uh, but I don't want to be in a relationship with him. He is sexy, but I'm afraid to get hurt again. What do you mean? Uh, so I, I stay out of relationships. He keeps saying he wants to go out with me, but I just really want sex. On top of that, he has a girlfriend, and he say he is going to break up with her. But she is my best friend. I can't. And I don't want to hurt her. What should I do, Bimbo? Should I go out with him and have him to myself, or should I just do it for the sex and not break up my friend's heart? Wait, my nose. Oh, uh, uh. I'm on nose alert. <laughs> I don't know. My sniffing coat. <laughs> um, little boy. Okay, uh, Jeremy. How many times do I have to tell you, little kids and boys and teenagers, focus on school, baby? Okay, these same dudes and chicks and people that you run with now, you ain't gonna give a damn about ten years now. You have not started your real life yet. To me, you start your real life and become who you really are at the age 25. Right now, you don't know who you are, okay? You can just be this regular dude. You, you know, you think you in love with this dude. 25, you could become a drag queen or a transsexual. I tell you, you don't know who you truly become. I think after 24. 24 is who you know what you want to be in life. At that age, you know if you want to become a tranny. If you want to become a dyke. Because I know a lot, I know a lot of little pretty girls I went to high school with. You know, they, they sexy girls, you know, bad bitches. That are not big, you know. These bitches are now the biggest lesbians. I'm talking about the brat type bitches. My thing is, you just need to focus on school. And the fact that he's your girl, he's your, oh God. Your young love is so cute. It's so cute. But focus on school, young man. 15, what are you, in the 10th, 11th grade? Just focus on your school. I, I wish I would have stayed focused. And. You know, when I was younger, I used to have people telling me I stay focused on school. Now I'm telling you, I hate to be this person that I hate when I was your age, but I'm telling you, you need to just focus on what you want to do in life. Let these, don't focus on these relationships. Get the sex. Do not tell your girl, the, the, your friend, your girl. Or if you do, y'all should just have a little threesome. Yeah, you know, do a little threesome, baby. He eat her coochie while you get from hat, baby. Y'all always wanted one of those, Sister Patterson, you guys. I always wanted a threesome with a gay dude, well, a bisexual dude, and a chick. I don't want to touch the girl, but you know, while he eating her coochie, I want to be, oh, I, ooh, I wish I was sexy. But no, uh, Jeremy, you need to stay your little butt in school, okay? Uh, the question was, uh, yes, just do it for the sex, okay? Don't get so close to this dude, okay? Have sex with him, you know, talk to him on the phone for 10 5. Don't be spending all night when you should be doing your homework, studying on the phone with this meatball, okay? Focus on your school and what you want to do in life. Focus on getting your body together so you won't end up this drunk, fat alcoholic on YouTube. <laughs> Alright, um, so another email. Thank you for emailing me, Jeremy. Um, one more email, then I got to go, baby. Uh, so I need something short. <sighs> Alright, this is a good one. Before we start, let me say I found your vlog six months ago and have been rooting for you ever since. May God continue to bless you, boo. 
Oh, thank. Oh, oh. Wait, hold on now. Okay. Uh, here's my issue. I'm 22 years old, going on 23. Come this October, I'm a Libra. Yes. I knew from an early age that I was born in the wrong body and based on that I started transitioning when I was 12 years old. With that said, I basically lived most of my life as the female I was meant to be. So basically this was a young man, he felt like he had to become a female so he started doing what he was doing at 12, very good. He started early, I don't know, I don't know. Hey, if you felt like, hey, let me just finish the email. I completed my transition by the time I was 17. What does SRS means? Hey, all you addiction show watchers, it's Sister Patterson. Wow, fix your way for But you fix your motherfucking face, bitch. Okay, I'm trying to do you a motherfucking favor. Can I finish this? Okay, can I finish this, bitch? Uh, anyway. Hey, all you addiction show watchers, do you want more of that mess? Yeah, do you want more of Bimbo? Well, don't forget to follow Bimbo on Twitter. That is twitter.com backslash forward slash Bimbo Winehouse. Yes, follow him on Twitter. Okay, you can also be his friend on Facebook. Uh, his Facebook is Bimbo Winehouse, so you need to search him, friend him, and love him. He loves you. And uh, do you need uh, to vent on someone? Do you have some tea to spell? Or do you need some advice? Well, you can email us at bimbowinehouse at gmail.com. Yeah, we will try to get, you know, get your email on the show. And also, if you like to book Bimbo to host the event, or, you know, some of you uh, industry people, some of you radio personalities or TV people, if you're trying to get Bimbo a show or a TV show or a radio show, because he's tired of working at the motherfucking slave job doing shit that he don't want to do for motherfucking coins, it's time for him to get a TV radio show. You too can email him at bimbowinehouse at gmail.com I uh, tell you that this is Sister Patterson and we will talk to you on the next show Waka Waka and don't forget to subscribe and, 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 and like this video and tweet it and, and, and send it out and call your friends tell your people about the Bimbo Winehouse Addiction Show Waka Waka and